Hey guys, it's Lonnie from JeepExtreme at gmail.com. Hey, I wanted to go over a quick uh, video on this Boost Works setup and on the transfer case and the linkage setup and how simple it is and um, how it is that uh, the old Z linkage that these had um, and they ran for years. I don't understand. I don't know why they did it, but they did. Uh, they bind. Um, you'll find it hard to get in this poor low with it. Um, but this solves the problem. It's simple. It's sweet. And I want to show it to you. I actually showed it in another video, but this video is just dedicated to showing you that. And um, kind of a follow-up uh, after I got the, uh, um, the transfer case installed, SYE in it. And the uh, skid plate I'm working on now. Here's the transfer case, right there, got the SYE in, um, got a dump fluid in it, I haven't done it yet, been taking my time, uh, need to get that stupid muffler off there. There is uh, the drive line off the front of the 2000 Jeep, they say that uh, you know you can swap the drive line off the front and run it in the back with 4 to 5 inches of lift, whatever. You can, um, however, on this one, I know Grand Cherokees have a longer drive line in the front uh, on few models, whatever. There's different sizes of these. But on a 2000 Cherokee, this is pushing it with an 8.25 in the back. Uh, it will work, um, however, I don't think I'm going to have enough uh, play to go out. So if my axle drops in the back, I could lose my back drive line don't really care to do that at all so uh, and then I got the uh, my skid plate here boy this thing you know just a piece of metal factory skid plate but man it does guard your transfer case you know sitting right here it, it, it guards it so it's worth having um, gets in the way it's kind of a pain but and of course you know like everything bolt was broke so or not bolt but the nuts were stripped in it so whatever you call those things they're really not nuts but i'm going to get a bolt or two and drop it up there or weld some nuts up which i'll be doing quite a bit of welding later here on in these videos as i got me a new 210 hobart mig that i plan on using so uh anyway let's get to the linkage setup this is a boost work setup it was 37 bucks. It's gonna cost you that much just to freaking get the crap together anymore and make one. Unless you're just, you could weld one up or something and take the time to do it. But CNC, it's CNC, uh, C cut really well right here on the tab. Basically reverses the tab from down on stock. You put it up high instead of running it down low. And then you've got three adjustments here, three holes. So say you've got you know a different pivot point on your transfer case, if you're running a different transfer case, whatever. Say this works for most of them. But it gets rid of a lot of crap. Um, this whole steel piece that was right here that you had to reach through to get this bolt and another bolt is no longer there. This piece right here, no longer there. The Z, no longer there. I have an L. That's it. Well, whatever you want to call it, but it definitely eliminated a lot of junk. So uh, it's worth it. It shifts way better uh, than stock. If I need to get in, I need to pull my transfer case down. I can do it. Uh, I'm not getting paid or marketing or marketing for these guys because uh, um, I need. I want something. I'm just telling you the flat out truth, uh, it works so much better, it's adjustable, it's easy, and it does, uh, we'll see how it holds up on these pivot points up here, I think it will be fine, um, and I'm pretty sure it will stand behind it, so, uh, but I really like it, and it will just make it easier maintenance, and get rid of all the garbage that you don't need, why Jeep Cherokee did that for so many years, 
I don't know what they did. I guess it was, they just thought, well, it works, you know, it's smooth, and we'll just use it. So, I just wanted to go over that with you guys and kind of give you a idea of that setup. And 37 bucks compared to Novak's kit, which Novak's kit, Novak adapters kit, is a little more entailed, and it's cable-operated uh, system. And it may be, it's probably smoother to some extent, but... You know, it's also 150 something bucks, or probably 160 with uh, shipping or tax and everything. So, I put on a new transmission mount, got that on. Might as well do it while you're there. Hey guys, this is my, uh, I just wanted to show it to you my new welder I got. It's a Hobart 200, uh, 210 MVP MIG, um, and I plan on using it a lot for bumper builds here coming up, different things like that. Um, got to get the gas, got to get everything else for it, 3 8 and it is multi-volt. Uh, that's why it's called MVP. Um, it actually will do, uh, you can plug it into regular uh, 120, or you can run it on, you know, 115 to 230 volts. So, you can run it uh, two different ways on two different plugins. So, you can do everything on this thing. Uh, it goes up 3 8 inch steel. And it's going to be fun to make some bumpers with later this year.